welcome to part 11. Yes, you are still with us, keeping the faith. Uh, and if, ah, and just in case I forget, press the like button, and well, the like button, and press the, the other one, the subscribe one. In fact, don't waste any time, do it now. Okay, have you done it? Come on, hurry up then. Anyway, moving swiftly on. This is where I've got to so far with fitting ailerons to the wings. Now, this is not glued or anything at the moment. What I have done though is I had to go out, actually where I was working, there was a model shop, I, I swear to God, within a quarter of a mile of where I was working. So I managed to get um, a Y lead. Now, actually I had, I had some of the label, it says a Y harness a Y harness and this is actually for um, a Futaba I use Spectrum but this is a Futaba one and it's quite good all I had to do is just take that little lip off of the uh, the plug on the other end to put it into the receiver here and it fitted and you know as soon as I worked out the colour code which wasn't difficult for being honest I got it to work so this is now are they, I don't know whether you're going to hear this hang on can you hear this yeah well the servos are now working so and they are traveling in opposite directions which is exactly what i need and what i want so i've wired in the servos and i've checked that they work and because i've got them working they will now self uh, centralize so that will now allow me to work on the servos themselves now i don't want to Put the dihedral in just yet so that means leaving out uh this h2 here and here um it just gives me that little bit of flexibility uh, although they are more or less coupled together because of the wiring um i just feel as though if i didn't do it i'd paint myself into a corner uh but anyway so what is left to do so because of the configuration of everything, I have to make sure that these are fully operational and making this move before I glue this rib in. And I need to cut these individually to fit in. And then once I know it's all right, I can actually cut it there, cut it here. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. And then come over to this end, do the same thing and then put the push rods in put the hinges in, prove that they work, which they should do. Uh, and then, then I can glue these ribs in. Uh, and then I can put the dihedral in. Now, obviously, if I was not putting these ailerons in, this wing would be together, the dihedral would be in, it would have been done yesterday, you know. But I'm going that extra step, uh, which is partly why you're watching this, I expect. So there we are. So this is... The plan for the bottom wing in there. This should rightly go like this. Okay. Um, now, it's just a case of uh, do I start that now or do I start the top wing? <laughs> Which I really want to do. Um, no, I think I'll carry on with the bottom one, I think. Uh, because obviously I've got to make a whole set of ribs for the top. And these are all in so you know it's not looking too bad and uh looking forward to getting to grips with this this is the part of the build i was really really interested in if i'm being honest with you so there we are so um i'll update on the next step as soon as i can well i want you to see the results of today's efforts and here we have a fully working aileron on the starboard wing look at that ladies and gentlemen isn't that absolutely superb so how did well the first question is why have i got these two pins in here well the thing is i've not glued this aileron on because i've got adjustments to make with certain things which will become apparent later so i've glued in the hinges on this side but not on this side, so I can take the aileron off. 
but I'm going to show you how it's, it's this is basically how it's going to look apart from the pins uh, when I've finished so let's have a look now might be easy if I move the camera actually there you go so there's a close-up that's what it all looks like now as I said I would earlier I've put these two pieces in and these two pieces are not glued in just yet but the screws underneath are screwed into the bottom of it so I've put these fillings in wouldn't you know it my my the memory in my iPhone was full and it just totally cut out so here we are anyway I'll have to buy a better phone I suppose um, where was it so I filled in the top here I've added a rail here and so this now becomes fully independent so let me just show you this now so underneath there's your push rod I use one of these little clips here and do the Z bend that goes into here and again I've made by hand my own horn here it doesn't take long it takes about 10 minutes to be absolutely truthful with you and then they use the, the, uh, the piano wire and the um, little clip there and I centered the uh, the arm on the servo there's your two screws there which goes into the, these two bits of wood here which just uh, secures the servo in place and of course when I come to finish these will be glued in and those two screws will now retain the servo and the servo goes arm goes through the cutout here okay and then this just gets totally covered now then uh, to take this off uh, which I can do shall I take it off no I won't no I, I will not um, I'll show you on the other wing so what I did was I added this piece here and I put some um, reinforcement here for the tail end of the ribs and then I put a piece in here to accommodate the um, the horn which I made by hand and filled in the top rail here and thinking about it why don't I just add that ribbing there we go excuse hands and arms and things goes in like that or something like that come on you it's the wrong way around that's why so there you go that goes in there you would think quite happily ah I know why it's because I've not allowed for these two pieces yet that's why I've not cut it out but anyway your rib will go in there and then of course I put the hinges in didn't take me long it's a few seconds glue these in on the inside here and not glue them here so I can so I can take this aileron off because obviously I've got to cover the aileron and fit it in and then do the dihedral and everything else but also I've got to copy what I've done here on this side now my word of caution is that once I have completed all of this this is then in you there's no adjustments on it so you've got to make sure the adjustment is all correct before you put the skin on because once you put the skin on well that's it basically um, but there is a proviso because this is only 132 balsa so I have no compulsion about cutting through the uh, the skin and getting to this and then cutting this out and then get taking this out if I need to because it's not that big a job to put one, a new one back no not for me anyway um, but it will be sealed in it will be sealed in so you have to make sure all your adjustments in and don't forget to put your screw in the top there for the uh, control horn uh, so there we are it does work you've seen it work and there you go lots and lots of travel loads of travel more than what you'll ever need or want okay you probably only need about six millimeter travel which is about that much probably less than that actually but that's the full rate 
and there's no strain on that servo at all so there we are so if you've got this far in the uh, in the set of programs you can finally see it is possible to put ailerons onto a Gwillow's rubber powered SE5A from what is it 1952 or whatever um, so yeah you can do it I've proven it I don't know if I'm the first one ever to do it but I'm certainly the first one to show it off on YouTube is to my knowledge to my knowledge so there you are there you have it and uh, I'll leave it like that for now and um, maybe I have enough to publish this I don't know um, the only thing that's left now is is that I do have some imitation leather for the cockpit which I will put on at some point is around there I do have a pilot um, he's, he's tucked away somewhere and I'll have to get that pilot in probably from underneath and get him all nice and settled in uh, then it will start looking a bit normal uh, define normal anyway there you go so that's where we're at and uh, I hope you're going to stay with me and um, don't forget to press the, the thumbs up you know the like button and subscribe you got to subscribe you know you just, just do the right thing okay